Welcome to what's new on Aviva Dynamic Simulation version 2022. The first feature that I'd like to present will help you saving a lot of time while modeling, and it will make your flow sheets looking more like the P&ID. In version 2022, you will be able to connect directly to pressure nodes using a stream object. Let's see how. In this example, I am connecting a drum directly to a source object using a stream object. This configuration was not allowed in previous versions. To enable pressure drop and flow calculations, simply open the data entry window and enable the conductance. Then enter the desired conductance or use the line sizing to calculate the appropriate value. Use the reverse flow factor to simulate a check valve in the line. A special icon highlights streams with conductance. We have also added the possibility to add a symbol to represent check valves. We are releasing a new advanced option for the header object, which will automatically switch calculations depending on the process condition. You will no longer need to choose between a lot of possible configurations. This feature also improves the overall robustness of the simulation. We have now a more accurate solution for centrifugal compressors, handling different type of gas with different molecular weight. The performance curves and surge line are automatically adjusted depending on the inlet properties of the gas. To support the LNG and gas industry we are also enhancing the cryogenic exchanger object, making it more robust and accurate for compressible calculations. This work will continue in the next version as well. We are modernizing the graphical user interface and user experience. The idea is that all Aviva products will converge toward common rules for UI UX. We are implementing a ribbon bar replacing the menu and tool bar. We have added a status bar to have an easy control of the simulation. More is shown in the next demo. The new ribbon bar groups the different systems icons in separate tabs. This replaces the menu and toolbar from previous versions. The express tabs includes the most used functions. More advanced or less used functions can be found in the other tabs, file, edit, view, run, tools, settings, draw, users, and help. The user can hide the ribbon bar to create more space for the working area. In hidden mode, clicking on the tab name will expand the ribbon bar. Right-click and select Show Ribbon to return to normal mode. The simulation is now controlled using the simulation status bar. A widget in the center is clearly indicating the simulation status. In this bar we have buttons to load or shut down the simulation, access the snapshot summary window, run and freeze. Running a single step is easier than ever, no longer need to toggle the mode. Adjusting the simulation speed is done by typing the desired value or by using the arrows up and down. We have adopted more readable colors for the items in the message monitor for information, warnings, and errors. The user can now add or remove buttons and functions in the quick access taskbar, which is always displayed on the top left corner of the interface. The user can add as many functions as needed. We have a new working tab grouping all the lists and key functions needed by the different environments. The super user for example will have access to the lists for key points, undo and redo, active malfunctions and active TPMs. The user can also access several functions to interact with the lists displayed. In this example we are deactivating a malfunction. We now have a dark theme available by default. This will prevent eye strain for users who are spending long hours using Aviva Dynamic Simulation. The theme applies to all windows and overlays with the exception of the flow sheets, for which the user can customize the background color from the settings tab in the ribbon bar. Also from the settings tab in the ribbon bar, the user can switch to light theme. We now have an internal tool for importing intelligent P and IDs into the simulation. This can read DEXP and SVG formats. The same tool is also using the integration service to connect to Aviva Engineering for transferring data. The new learning monitor scores the performance of the trainees bases on process key variables and adherence to an operating procedure. The learning monitor tool is going to be available on premise for selected projects, and it will be fully integrated with our learning management system and unified learning for cloud deployments. We are dropping the support for 32-bit and adopting 64-bit for all components of the product. The result is that we double the amount of data which can be transferred, as we can now access and use more than 8 GB of memory, while 32-bit allows only 4 GB. We now have a more robust algorithm for vapor liquid liquid equilibrium, which is based on open form. We are also improving the performance of vapor liquid liquid equilibrium calculations by using the new super linear local flash option. Let me show you how to use these options in your simulation. The user can activate open form option for vapor liquid liquid equilibrium at the engine level. Entering 2 as value for the option will activate open form algorithm. 
Similarly, the user can also activate the super linear option for local flash by entering one in the value. For more information, please check the release notes and guideline.